anything, let me know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, I think the, basically the only thing that I added was a possibility of another employee. Um, and again, whether or not I do that, but that way, if I do need it with the reassessment, with the cyclical um, reassessment, <coughs> you know, I'll have somebody budgeted in that I can get them. I'm not sure that we really, I'm not sure what last year, Particularly, but I don't think we really changed too much here. Rita, what's the uh, reason for the large increase on travel and mileage? Oh, well, I guess it is. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think there service. was. And the reason the um, elected official wage seems higher at 106% increase is because you took her uh, wage, her amount of wage, out of reassessment, but you then added. Yeah, Secretary stayed the over. same, and the deputy one then came in there. Right. Okay. Right. So actually, more is coming out of the reassessment now. Right this year. Yes. yes. Okay. <coughs> and the reason her travel and mileage, um, kept, she took the whole thing out of the county general budget. Again, if you look back through the funding after reassessment we have to collect that sales disclosure money it's called assessor sales disclosure fund number 1131 and nothing has been being paid out of it so it was money we were collecting for every deed that came into the county it can be used for that purpose for anything that Rita or anybody in the assessor's office does training wise so we took it out of the county general, and instead of just putting the money into 1131, which has a balance of um, 33853 and has never had money out of it until we figured this year what it was supposed to be used for, she put that 5000 over in that fund to be appropriated out of there. So when they go to get their certifications and <laughs> state you know, call meetings. State call meetings, your council conferences, yes. those kinds of things. Now, do we have a copy of that budget where it shows how much is in there, what's coming out of it? Um, you have this that shows the, and you should have a budget. If you look at the top, it says fund 1131, assessor sales disclosure. It's and like all, one of our last ones. Mm -hmm. It shows 5,000 coming out. Yeah. And she made it. Okay, so you don't have a computer-generated one, you just have this one. Right, because okay. it's never been in there before, so it had nothing to compare it to. Rita, you folks get your level three? Mm -hmm. Next month I go for my last class, so. You know, we got one more to go. Hopefully I pass. If not, I'll take it again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have one more class to take. Broach a subject of an additional employee. What are your thoughts? At this point, I don't, I'm kind of up in the air and, and again, looking to see when, if we do start the uh, silical reassessment, which sounds like it is coming, so every year we're going to be doing something, then I'll probably get someone. And hopefully then, you know, I can get somebody that is interested in down the road then becoming the new assessor. And I'm not saying in the next two years. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, the elected official, the chief deputy, and the deputy right. now, which is what you had. Did. Yeah, currently. Yeah. Kind of. Kind of, sort of, yeah. I just didn't want to throw any surprises to anybody. Any comments?
bunch of questions for Rita. Thank you for your time. Thank you.